This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, Rajesh, in the last session we discussed on the like a semantic layer information at the same time sheet level properties. So I, so what is the sorry? How many types of connections we have, Rajesh? Two types of uh, connections. Okay, so what is the live connection? So oh, uh, which directly gets a connection with the database of the file, which directly gets the data from it. And extract is nothing but uh, get a snapshot of the data and just will connect to the extract file rather than connecting to the database directly. Yes, that's good. But uh, the data, uh, the extract file is av available in our local machine. So please local remember that part. Okay. Yeah. okay. So the next thing is menu bar properties. So in the menu bar, there are the lot of menu bars are there. So we will see one by one. Okay. So the first menu bar is the file menu bar. Here you can able to see the first option like a new. If you want to create the new Tableau workbook, just use this option. Otherwise, shortcut key is Control N. If you want to open the existing Tableau workbook, okay, just to use the Control O. Okay. If you want to close the current Tableau workbook, like which is I'm uh, open now, right? If you want to close this one, you can able to use this option. If you want to save this Tableau workbook, just use this option. Okay. If you want to save as same procedure, like use this option. So these are all the important options. And one more important option, like a export as a version. See, currently I'm using the 10.8 version. Okay. So 2018.1 version. See, this is the new version. If you want to export from new version to old version, you can able to export. Okay, go to the file menu bar, click on the export as a version. So it will support 10.5 version. You can able to export from 2018.1 version to 2000, sorry, 10.5 version, it will support. So that is the way we will export the version. The next menu bar is data menu bar. If you want to create a new data connection, you can able to use this option. Otherwise, shortcut key is Control D. And here also you can able to option there. So plus cylinder option. Just to click on this option also. So here also you can able to connect new data connection. And the next one is the refresh all the extract connection. So uh, tomorrow we will discuss on the how to refresh the extract connection. But for example, if there are many extract connections are available in the Tableau workbook without our uh, interaction. Okay, if you want to refresh one by one, you can able to go for the data menu bar, click on the refresh all the extract connection. Automatically, it will refresh without our interaction. Just click on this. Okay, once the first connection is completed, if there is any second connection, it will be executed without our interaction. Okay. The next one is okay. See here, data source is there. If you want to do the some properties like a refresh, view data, rename, duplicate. So tomorrow session we will continue on the hi Karima. Good morning. Uh hi Niranjan. Yes, yes. So just now we have started. Okay. So uh, in the last session, we completed the sheet level properties, Karima. So today we are going to discuss on the menu bar properties. So in the file menu bar, we discussed. Okay. So in the file menu bar, there are the important options are there, like a new option, open option, close. So these are all the very, very basic options. Okay. You can able to uh, go through on the video also. Okay. So if you want to create the new uh, Tableau workbook, just use this option. If you want to open the existing Tableau workbook, you have to use this. If you want to close the current Tableau workbook, you have to use this option. Save. You can able to use this. Save as. Okay. So export the version also. You can able to export this one. So in the data menu bar. Okay. So just we are discussed on the data menu bar. Uh, See, if you want to create the new data connection, we will use this option. Okay. If you want to replace the, all the extract connection. Okay. So tomorrow session, we will continue on the like a, uh, how exactly we will replace the Tableau extract connection, live connection, everything. Okay. So the next one is the worksheet. See, if you want to create the new worksheet, you can able to use this option. Just to click on the new worksheet. Automatically, one more worksheet will be created. See, 
in the worksheet same options are available previous worksheet also same option right here also you can able to see the same option so that means you can able to create the reports in the worksheet level and if you want to drag and drop the reports like it feels just to drag and drop. okay now if you see here when you open the new worksheet you can able to see the sheet title so how exactly it is showing the sheet title sheet four it is a title see by default there is the checkbox over here show title option so that's why it is showing the show title sheet four if i want to remove this one just look over here there is no sheet title by default sheet title will be available in real time if you want you can able to remove that okay so that is possible the next one is see here i have created the one report here okay so for example i am a w developer okay you people are the customers so just it is showing the furniture information office supplies and the technology information so i have published this report in the tableau one see you people doesn't know uh, functionally because uh, just to five days back only you have joined in the organization so for example if you want to understand each and every report information we can able to add the captions so how exactly we will add the caption go to the worksheet click on the show caption automatically the caption will be available you can able to edit the caption also okay just double click on that click on here you can able to write it down some like it category so, wait, you double click mid engine yes yes one minute okay so just to double click on the caption edit oh wait okay. i didn't I, see where, where is it see here in the bottom of the oh, screen okay. there is a double click on that okay you can able to write it down category by sales information so when users see the like when user want to analyze this one okay he can able to observe the caption also so that means so the report is representing the category by sales information the figures are sales information furniture is one of the category technology is the one of the category so he will understand what is report representation the next one is summary if i click on the summary option it will give the only measure information how many rows are there totally three rows are there furniture office supplies and technology three rows are there so the total sum is 29 lakh rupees average of the sales is 967 minimum sales is 887 maximum is 1076 median is 944 so just it will give the only measure information summary information if i add the profit instead of sales okay the summary will be changed previously the sales is sum is the 29 lakh rupees but here 3 lakh 60 thousand rupees average is the 120 rupees so this is the way we will see the measure summary information okay the next one is see this is the sheet to tap title this is the sheet title so there is a difference between the sheet title and sheet tab title for example if i want to rename the sheet to tab title okay like for example category wise sales automatically sheet title also will be changed okay so let me create one more report okay so i'm going to change the sheet title Okay, but sheet tab title is not changing it because sheet title is different, sheet tab title is different. So how exactly it is taking? Because if you click on the sheet title here, okay, it will show you the sheet name. So what are the sheet name is available? Same name will be available. If you want add the, some extra information, you can able to add the extra information also. Okay, but the extra information won't be added in the sheet name okay clear yeah the next one is 
see if you want to copy this image like in the particular report you can able to copy the image level data level okay so uh, in the cross table level same way you can able to export the image level data level cross to excel level so if you want to clear this image you can able to clear so automatically the reports will be cleared the next one is the dashboard so we have created the multiple reports like each and every sheet we can able to create the single report you can't able to combine the multiple reports. Okay. so if you want to combine all the reports together with the interactive mode we have to go for the dashboard so in the dashboard maneuver just to click on the new dashboard automatically dashboard window will be opened here okay so in the previously we are in the sheet level so that's why you are not able to see the all the options all options are disabled because you are in the sheet level so you are seeing the dashboard properties so that's why all options are disabled for example if you are in the dashboard level you can able to see the some options are enabled like a device layout store title actions so everything you can able to see this for example just to drag and drop the sheets okay now if you want to copy this entire format or copy image export image if you want to clear the dashboard you can able to clear so action is nothing but a basically there are the three types of actions are there filter highlight go to url it will take the one hour session okay so once we completed the all the charts creation okay we will discuss then the how to apply the filter highlight go to url okay so but just to understand so what are the options are available in the dashboard maneuver same way in the storyboard also in the storyboard also you can able to see the new story click on the new story but all options are disabled because you are in the dashboard table click on the new story see story page will be open here you can able to create the stories okay see now if you want to apply the stories like your format you can able to apply you can able to take the copy image like format in the sense you can able to change the background colors okay so like a navigator colors also you can able to change okay so everything you can able to do it and this is the storyboard right the next important thing is analysis tab see when we drag and drop the measure field it will show you the sum function i didn't write the any calculated field okay so but basically it is available sales value but when we drag and drop onto the row self or a column self or a normally report level it will add the aggregated function how exactly it is added the aggregated function see in the analysis system there is a checkbox over here aggregate the measure value so that means by default when you drag and drop the measures automatically it will be aggregated if i remove this checkbox you can able to see the only sales value so that means these are all the individual values okay it is not the aggregated values so that's why in real time we won't uncheck the checkbox 100 percent we won't uncheck it okay the next one is okay totals see for example by default you can able to see the each subcategory by sales contribution but if you want to sum up all the records like a, if i want to add the subtotal then go to the analysis tab click on the total here click on the column level grand total this is password the same way if you want to add the, some trend analysis okay see this is a line chart right if i want to add the trend analysis okay go to the trend analysis click on the show trend analysis so trend analysis is nothing but it is a fit line okay so previously normal line is the fluctuations based on the contribution wise you can able to see the normal line chart but trend lines is nothing but a fit line it will give the straight line okay if the contribution is more compared with the current year and previous year compared with the overall experience as well overall the contribution so it will do the whether it is a 
upward direction or whether it is a downward direction if it is upward direction our business contribution is more if it is a downward direction our contribution is very very low so this is also one of the way to understand the business status the next one is the uh, yes, so yes. how this uh, trend line will be calculated by default is it a sum or it's average or like on what basis this trend line will be set See, before, yeah look over here. there is the uh, look over here there is the calculation over here okay 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 yeah thank you so the next one is if you want to add the some forecast line forecast in the sense it is if you want to prediction so based on the existing value wise if you want to predict the values you can able to go for the forecast option click on the forecast see by default tableau will give the five quarters forecast values five quarters if you want to increase by year wise you can able to increase it so if you want to increase the month wise you can able to display the month wise forecast so the we... forecast will be based on what based on the existing values okay so for example we have a data in 2018 uh, karima so if you want to understand so uh, what is the my organization in 2020 2022 so i want to predict my values in 2020 2021 so how exactly we will understand so based on the existing data right so in the last year so in the last summer season my sales is this so but in the 2020 in the summer so might be i have to increase my sales whether it will be increased or not so how exactly we will calculate based on the history data wise we will predict the sales right yeah okay so same option is available in the analysis tab okay forecast option c if you want to see the by default automatically it will give the next five quarter values but exactly if you want to see the year wise you can able to see by default it will give the one year if you want to increase the two years or a three years or a four years you can able to add that one and if you want to see the accurate result like a 99 percent you can able to do it okay but the tableau forecast won't give the accurate result again i'm repeating tableau forecast won't give the accurate result so this is the default algorithm for all the business like for example karima you are running the marketing company so rajesh you are running the financial company so for financial forecast like their prediction is different sales company sales prediction is different so but tableau forecast is so for all the organization so they have concentrate on and they have written the one algorithm and it is showing the simple forecast value it is not the accurate value but tableau will support the forecast values but it won't give the any accurate result clear yeah okay so in tableau if you want to display the forecast values okay you can able to display it but you have to get the customer this is a simple forecast it is not the accurate result so then how exactly they will display the forecast values so they will request the r or a python so there are the different uh, technologies are there right in the market they will request the python developer or a r developer they will do the some algorithms in the python or r okay they will display the forecast values so that is possible and they will give the some flat files we will load in the same flat files into the tableau we will display the actual values and forecast values that is possible in so the next one is important thing for example here i am going to add the fields like a category city country region Okay. See here, Karima Rajesh, there are the six fields I have added in the row cell, like a category, subcategory, country, region, city, product. Name. So if I want to add the one more field, like a seventh field, what it will happen? I 
I think I that could be happening. Uh, sorry, I didn't get your question clearly. Hello. Nirja, can you hear me? Hey, Rajesh, uh, I can hear you. Yeah, seems to be he's on mute or... You I can hear me, right, Karima? His connectivity. Yeah, probably. Nirja, can you please speak up? Hello. Hey, Niranjan. Karima Rajesh, am I at one Oh, yes. Yeah. Now okay. I think yeah. yes, yes, there is the uh, small network issue. Okay, so when we add the more than six fields, okay, the first two fields will be concatenated and the remaining fields will be displayed as a separate columns. So if I want to add the one more field, okay, like a uh, product ID, so let it be okay. If I add the one more field, like a eighth field. So the first three fields will be concatenated and the remaining fields are same, okay, in different columns. So how exactly we will add the, or how exactly we will increase the column limits, okay? So go to the analysis tab, click on the label, sorry, tableau layout option, click on the advanced option. See, by default it is showing the six, you can able to extend up to 16. Click on that. Then automatically all the fields will be displayed as a separate fields. Clear, right? Yeah. Okay. So again, I'm repeating. If you want to uh, extend more than six fields, okay, for the column level limits or row level limits, go to the analysis tab. Click on the table layout. Click on the advanced option. So here you have to extend up to sixteen. The next one is. If you want to create the calculated field, here also option, just to click on that option. Okay. So for example, when you are creating the visualization. Okay, so for example, let me create the visualization. See, See let me remove this legends. So for example, you have removed the legends. This is the legends, right? If I want to add the legends, go to the analysis tab, click on the legends. So just to click on the color legend, automatically the color legends will be displayed. And if you want to create the calculated field, yes, you can able to create the calculated field. And one more option, just to right click on the empty space in the major category, there is also calculated field option is available. Same way in the dimension category also, white space is there, right? So just double uh, right click on the white space here also you can able to see the create calculated field option and one more option is available click on the drop down list here also you can able to see the create calculated field option so you can able to use any one of the option to create the calculated field so the next one is the map menu one okay see here when we are creating the geographical map Okay, we have to use the map menu bar. See, 
sometimes you can able to see the null values like a system is not identify the locations then it will give the unknown location information if you want to edit the location you can able to double click on the same symbol okay it will navigate into the edit location window same way you can able to see from here also just to go to the map location click on the edit location see and rename okay you can able to do that one so this is the normal procedure but if system is not identify the any one of the location okay if you want to enter the latitude and longitudes so how exactly we will enter the latitude and longitudes see this is the alabama right so system has identified this information if you want to enter the alabama latitude and longitude just double click on that go to the drop down list just you have to select the first option enter the latitude and longitude see here we have to enter the alabama latitude and longitude also okay then we have to click on the okay option automatically system will identify the corresponding location clear so niranjan we will not know right for suppose on a, one location is there i want to enter that uh, longitude and latitude so do, uh, we have to google it or it is available in tableau see by default tableau will identify the locations okay so tableau intelligence will identify the uh, up to district level some countries like uh, india usa so so uh, up to some countries tableau will identify the postal codes also like if it is a uh, uh, in africa countries is there right so these are all the under developed countries right so in some countries system won't identify the postal codes for the post uh, like for their countries so for example you are running the organization so there are the four branches are there so for the dip, the same branches different different latitude and longitudes are there but system is not identify the branches locations then you are the customer right you will give the latitude and longitudes Okay, seems to be it cannot find uh, the lowest granularity by default. It seems to be the top. Uh, by the yeah, yes, yes, top, top more, yes, top most cities. Tableau will I give the uh, automatically. It will identify the locations. Sometimes, if it is not identified, okay, manually you can able to enter. So how exactly we will enter the latitude and longitude? We have to get the first of all latitude and longitudes. So there is the option. Google option is also there. otherwise we will check with the customers they will give yeah okay so for example you are running the organization so the branches is belongs to your uh, organization right you have to give the latitude and longitude okay clear karima rajesh yeah yes. and the next one is if you want to add the some uh, background colors okay go to the map menu bar click on the map options so map layers see just the style you can able to add the dark colors okay so if you want to add the like a light color or normal color yes and if you want to see the coastal areas very clearly just to click on the check box so the same way here also you can able to do okay so and if you want to zoom in you can able to zoom in okay if you want to zoom out yes sometimes we are not providing the zoom in and zoom out option to the customers so how exactly we will remove this option go to the map menu bar click on the map options just remove the check box then customer can't able to zoom in and zoom out then he can able to see the only one way geographical map okay so the next one is okay the next one is the format see you can able to apply the formats like a five formats are available font alignment shading borders and lines so if you want to change the font size just change click on the font option then automatically it will be displayed the format so there are the five right so in the each and every format option there are the three levels are there sheet level a row level 
column level if you want to do it for the sheet level so if you do the anything in the sheet level it will applicable for entire sheet okay so for example if i want to increase the sheet level just increase the font size okay that is possible same way for example if it is available in the left side corner the values are available in the right side corner if you want to display in the center go to the alignment okay click on the pan option see click on the center or if you want to display in the right side you can able to do it okay and the next one is shading see by default tableau reports are a row banding reports like look over here if i click on this one you can able to see the reports like a row banding reports so uh, for the first row is the background color second row is the white color if you want to change the second row color or, okay you can able to change click on the row banding here see and for the headers also you can able to change okay so this is the way we will create the report if you want to add the same background color for the, all the uh, row banding also yes okay for the headers i will give the different colors and if you want to add the borders go to the border option for the cell wise border yes okay for the pan wise border for the header wise border okay so like a row divider like a column wise also you can able to write okay so this is the way we will add the borders the next one is the lines okay so when we are creating the bar charts or line chart so if you want to add the grid lines okay so if i add the grid line for the sheet level it will applicable for an entire shapes okay so if i want to remove the row level grid line just to remove the row level grid line okay if i want to remove the column level grid line you can able to remove it. same way if you want to add the row level grid line okay so this is the way we will do it and zero line in the sense when we are creating the different charts like a donut chart or something okay if you want to handle that one yes you can able to do it so these are all the format options so it is important for the cosmetic changes okay clear yes the next one is the server menu bar so in the server menu bar okay once we completed the development work at the desktop level we can able to publish our workbook so how exactly we will publish first of all we have to sign in to the server so if you want to sign in to the server go to the server menu bar so by default it will give the sign in option okay, let me sign out yes click on the sign in here we have to enter the server ip address or a server name okay so if you are login with our tableau online just to click on the tableau online click on the connect option so it will ask you the credentials we have to enter the credentials if it is matching so tableau workbook is ready to connect to the tableau server and once we connected the tableau server you can able to publish your workbook using this option if you want to open the tableau workbook which is available in the tableau server you can able to open this one okay if you want to publish your data source you can able to do this one if you want to apply the row level security okay using this option as yes, it is possible the next one is the windows see basically just it will do the windows information how many dashboards are available how many sheets are available right now where you are doing okay for example right now i am in the sheet level sheet one if i want to navigate into the sheet seven just to click on the sheet seven automatically it will navigate into the sheet seven if i want to navigate the dashboard one click on the dashboard one so this is the way we will understand the windows information and the next one is the help menu bar see here you can able to see the about tableau so what is the version so uh, 
and whether it is a 64 bit uh, software or not okay tableau software related information it will give and if you want to enter the product key you have to use this option just to click on the manage product key so here we have to enter the student product key or a official product so these are all the maneuver properties okay karima uh, rajesh any questions no okay okay so the uh tomorrow session okay we will understand the data connection properties also so once you people are familiar on the tableau screen okay now you people are ready to create the reports are ready to load the data okay you can able to play with anything so that's why okay it will take the time like for first uh, class we have completed the uh, this one semantic layer properties next one is the sheet level properties so menu bar properties then we have to understand the data connection property so once we understand the each and every option okay then we will move on to the next level like a calculated fields so once we completed the calculated field we will move on to the advanced versions okay so once we completed the advanced version also we will try to visualize graphically using the charts so once we completed the charts we will move on to the dashboard so this is the way we will go step by step okay clear karima rajesh yeah okay so tomorrow session we will continue on the data collection properties thank you rajesh so you are taking time. 8 to 9 india time right yes morning? yes 8 to 9 yes yes morning 8 to 9 oh. okay karima. okay thank okay you. Thank, you. thank you rajesh bye